So this is the law of sines here, and that's kind of what it states. And so something cool that we can figure out is when we look at sine A plus B, it basically is FB. That's just the basic value. So But I don't think I need the bottom. So what can we split FB up to that gives us something different than FB? But something we can work on because we know we're gonna have to have a sine of A in here. And right now it's kind of hard to like just have a sine of A. Even if we split it up into FD and DB, you couldn't really have anything with sine of A. So something that's really cool is that E C equal to because they're parallel lines and it's a square. So or it's a rectangle. And so once we know that we can say that okay, F plus Perfect. Uh, it's going to equal sine A plus B. And... Right. Okay. So, if we look at our EC line, what is EC? Well, EC over AE... And that's something that's going to be perking our interest. But, if we only want EC in there, and we don't want that AE, but we still want the sine of A, we have to somehow multiply that by something with a denominator of AE, or a numerator of AE. And then it's so cool, because what... No, it's a one whole thing. So, but we also see something else that we have another AE that could also be a cosine. So, we have. I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but I understand it and I know what I'm doing. I think I do. A. So, if we multiply those together, then we get EC over AF, which is EC because Mike said that AF is just equal to 1, which is awesome. And that wouldn't even matter anyways. What is that? Sorry, my mom was having fun with our pretend violin. Anyways, um, so you multiply those together and you get EC. But it wouldn't really even matter because sine A plus B. Okay, what is it? When I say it, it's a really, really small it. Because I'm just assuming here AF is 1. But it wouldn't matter if I assume AF is 1 or not. Because it would still be... It would still be over hypotenuse, and AF would be the hypotenuse, so it would still work. Don't know if I said that clearly, but I think Mike will understand. Anyways, um, so then we can multiply those together, and then we have EC over AF, because I guess what I'm trying to say is, if sine of A plus B is... 
is equal to FD plus EC, all of that over AF, then sine of A plus B is going to equal sine, or sine of A plus B is going to equal EC over AF plus FE over AF. Right? I hope that made sense. Anyways, so right now we have a really, really cool thing. So we basically have EC covered. Because we have E. See, I already wrote that. I basically just wrote that. So let's just call EC sine A times cosine B. So we have. I just think this is the, one of the coolest things we, one of the coolest proofs we have. I'll make it blue, because I want to be jazzy. Actually, blue's not, blue's still. I put the plus, plus there because it's still plus FD. So, what is FD? Well... So let's try to do something similar to what we did before and find kind of relationship between FD and something that relates to cosine, or actually we have sine of B. If you look right up there. So, this is going to involve some math. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'm going to make another page. I'm having to draw all of this again. But I'm pretty sure it'll be worth it. So just keep in the back of your minds that we already have. Ow. That. So now we have, I'll just draw this quickly. Boom. Mm. Okay, I think that's it. So let's make this bigger for a second. Now, we know that this is a 90 degree angle. But something that's cool is this, if this just imaginarily extends, then we know from our year of geometry that this angle A is going to have to equal, this is going to be A. I don't know if that's very easy to see. I can't even zoom in more. Say. No, I can't erase it. Hey, now we know that this is 90. And we also know that because of that, and because this is a right angle here, that this is going to have to be 1 or 90 minus A. Now, so in terms of A, so we, if we have a 90 plus 90 minus A, plus what is going to equal 180? Really simple to see. I can see this 180 minus A plus what? So plus A. So that's going to have to also be a really cool. So now, it's talking about our relationship that we needed. We are so close to having our little relationship. We all pretty much do. So we can see that... Ooh, let's get the pen tool. Okay. So we're trying to get the length of FD. 
And so how can we get the length of FD when it also has a sine B and a cosine A? So great thing, great thing, great, 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 great. So we're going to do something really, really similar. So we see the FD over FE, which is going to be cosine A. Then we got the cosine A. So, but then we want to cancel out the FE, and we want to have, we basically want to have FD over A. F, right? We want F D over A F because F D over A F I tried to say this. Here, let me just write it out. That's an F. F D plus E C over A F is what we're trying to get. Right? And we've already got that EC, because that's what this is. So let's actually erase the EC, because it's getting annoying right now. Actually, that's not, because it might be just good to have. EC. So that's just going to equal FT over AF plus EC over AF. And we've shown that cosine sine A, sine A times cosine B is EC over AF. And it just has another variable that we just cancel out. So let's do the same thing with the next part. So we have, how do we get F D over AF? We know that F D over F E E is going to be sine, sine, no, cosine, I'm so sorry, please forgive me, cosine of A, because we just showed that A is right here, nope, that was terrible, um, yay, that kind of works better, anyways, so we have cosine of A, let's just make this a little bit smaller, that's a D. Sorry. Um, that's equal to cosine of A. And then all we need now is sine of B. And it works amazingly. Because, and what better to cancel out F E than F E over A F, which is exactly sine B. So So we multiply those together, then we get F D over A F, which is this part, and then we have plus sine. Cosine.